guys welcome back to the channel today's video you guys see it from the thumbnail and from the title plain and simple we have the confirmed ultimate legend drop in tomorrow not to mention keep an eye out on my other video i'll be posting i'll be leaving and be posting a video on how to sign up for mad 23 betas so with that being said if you guys are new here and want to stay updated on anything Madden related make sure to follow the channel don't forget to follow my socials don't forget to show this video some love leave a comment down below and let's jump into it plain and simple right here on the screen is tomorrow's ltd and by far I pretty much think everybody can agree with me. This drop for Ultimate Legend isn't that good at all. I mean, we have some good players, but it's not the best one that I've seen. The only thing I can say is that it's not the best one I've seen or the, the worst one I've seen. Right here on the screen is Mars LTD, Leroy Selman. Right above, he's playing for the Buccaneers. Defensive tackle, so I'm not a fan that tomorrow's LTD is a defensive tackle. Just my personal opinion. Let me know your thoughts down below. But 95 speed, really good. 96 when powered up, so that's really good for a defensive tackle, even in a big alignment. 99 block shedding, 99 power move, and 94 finesse move. Not to mention, he does have, I believe, under pressure and inside stuff, both for one AP. So, Tomorrow's LTD, especially for a Bucks theme team, is really good. But without it, he's definitely a starter in an end game defensive tackle. Overall, let me know your thoughts down below. Would you guys rather have an LTD be, you know, a wide receiver, a cornerback? Or like strong safety or a middle linebacker in some cases or in this case a defensive tackle let me know your thoughts down below and our second ultimate legend dropping tomorrow right here on the screen andre rinson wide receiver route runner archer type 99 overall by far i feel like he might be affordable just because we're getting a lot of wide receivers at this point for going tickets and if i'm gonna spend some coins on a wide receiver at this point it better be a golden ticket right right above he's played for the falcons the chiefs the browns Damn, he's played for a good amount of teams. Green Bay Packers, uh, the Colts, the Jaguars, and finally the Raiders. So, hey, he could be a new addition to my 50-50 Raiders, just depending how much he's going for. 97 speed is exactly what you guys want. The route running, 96, 98, and 98, right? So, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the short running just because he's a route runner archetype. So, I feel like that should be like the biggest strength for route running. But he does have 98 medium route running and deep route running. Overall, not a bad player. By far, by far, he shouldn't be the most expensive wide receiver in the game. But at least a top 10 dropping tomorrow. And our third and last player right here on the screen is perfect. And I have to say perfect for our Patriots theme team. But besides that, I can't see a lot of people picking him up. Just because he's a linebacker. We know linebackers, they get like the worst catching animations at, at least. You know, every single game, they always drop a pick if you guys do usual with them. Uh, Teddy Drewski, right above. He's always played for the Patriots. We all know that. 94 speed, too slow. 97 block shedding, 98 power move, and 94 zone coverage. I don't know. If you guys do decide to pick him up, let's say you guys are running a Patriots theme team, you guys want to add him. If I was you guys, I'd def definitely substitute him either at right end or left end uh, by making the audibles or changes at the position in-game. But for sure, I do not recommend to use with him just because he is slow when you guys have other options at that position. But overall, third and final ultimate legend dropping tomorrow is Teddy. Like I said earlier, don't miss out on my other videos. Sooner or later, I'll be posting a video of how to sign up for Man 23 Beta. So if you guys haven't watched that video yet, go watch it. And if I haven't posted it, I will post it. Guarantee that just because I'm going to try to get some extra codes to see if I can give some away to some of you guys on Xbox or PlayStation, just know you guys have to be on the next gen console, so PS5 or Xbox X series, or the other one below that. So overall, keep that in mind, and yeah, so overall, let me know your thoughts down below on the three ultimate legends. I don't know, plain and simple, not a really, you know, long video, but I don't think none of them are really that good, in my personal opinion. The best one is probably the wide receiver, Andre, but he's not even a, he's like, he's not even a top five or top three, let's just be honest, at least top ten, but... Golden tickets being out, who wouldn't rather have a golden ticket than an uh, ultimate legend wide receiver? I don't know. That's just my input on it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And don't forget, if you guys are new here and want to stay updated, make sure to follow the channel. Don't forget to follow my socials. Don't forget to show this video some love. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys on the next one.